fear God, man. Change your position. Red day out upon God. Red day out upon Christ. Lift up your hands and give him worship. Thank him for being here tonight. Thank him for being here tonight. You could be standing in a different position tonight. You could be laying down, my God, in the hospital in Mandeville. You could be laying down in Black River. But God Almighty have mercy. God Almighty have grace. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What a church there. What a church where Jesus Christ died for them. Let everything that has bread. Hallelujah. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. You may be seated. God bless you. A couple of things I say and I take my seat and introduce a group tonight. We don't have an official choir but a group. Amen. Praise God. It's restoration time. Back to the old landmark. My God, when you think of this, this theme, Bishop, this theme is powerful. Jesus. It is powerful. There's so many angles to come at it. Jesus. I, I'm just going to say my piece and take my seat if you'll permit me. We know that Israel was in bondage. Amen. But that's not how God created them. And when God wanted to restore them and take them back, praise God, to the old landmark, God challenged Pharaoh for them. Jesus. You know, talk to me, church. I oh, hold them so dignified tonight. Welcome to church. No joke, you know, me have a concern. Welcome to the church. It's like we're dead. It's like we're not happy for salvation. Come on, the church, man. Back in the day, if we did that dance hall, wherever you come from, you don't make nice. Jesus. Some of you used to do gun salutes. Glory to God, man. The Bible says that God wanted his people out. He wanted them back to the old landmark. And he took a man who could not speak, who gave him a lot of excuses. I can't talk, I can't this, I can't that. And God said, you are the man. Hallelujah. Jesus. When God challenged Pharaoh with one or the other, God said, I'm going to get me honor upon Pharaoh. Because somebody tonight may be stuck, praise God, on the new landmark, which is not the good landmark. And you need to come back to the old landmark. You're not saying nothing, church. Hallelujah. I'm going to be brief. I'm going to be brief. <laughs> praise God. The Bible lets us know that, 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 praise God, according to Exodus 13, that the angel of the Lord went before them as a pillar of cloud by night. God don't even want them sweat and provide cloud for them. And in the night, he wants them to see because he don't want them to fall on a trip. So he provided fire and light for them. Are you hearing me, somebody? I said, are you hearing me, somebody? Somebody may be in a backsliding place tonight because that's what the text is all about. But I'm here to tell you the Lord wants you back and he will challenge your enemies to get his honor to bring you back to that old landmark. You know, I said on church. When God, I'm, I'm finishing here, when God, because that this thing is bubbling me, when God, hallelujah, dangled the children of Israel. You know, God, sometime, I said to the people in the prison, I was in prison today, Bishop. We baptized 20 in the prison last week, Sunday. And I said, God, I said to the Kangi, I said, Kangi, I said, Kangi, I'm going to say something, may sound bad. But I said, God, never wonder sometime if you're wicked. Don't throw me out yet. Just, just wanna, don't throw me out yet. Bishop, God took the Israels, Israelites, and put them like a carrot and a stick. And dangle them before Pharaoh. So come Pharaoh. Come Pharaoh. Because God won't carry Pharaoh to the deep. Because God won't drown them. So he said come Pharaoh. 
like calling a dog. Come, Pharaoh. And God said, I'm going to get honor upon Pharaoh. You know, talk to me, church. I'm not the preacher. God, I love it. Then God do a marvelous thing. When Pharaoh begin to chase the children of Israel, and sometimes some of you get afraid because you think you can't come to Jesus, you can't walk the walk. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. My God. And when God stretched out Israel and Pharaoh, the Bible says he took 600 chariots, his best chariots. He emptied, praise God, Egypt with his best warriors. And he went after the children of Israel. Let me tell you something. Bishop, you know your value great. When a man is a slave and you take an arm, if you go, God, attack a slave. Yeah. Let me wrap this up and hold my seat. Dear God. What we know is that as God continues to allow Pharaoh, allow Pharaoh, you see, you might have messed up now. And you can't find a way out. But God will lose your, use your situation to allure the enemy. Yeah. To bring him out. Yeah. Are you hearing me, somebody? Yeah. Are you hearing me, church? Yeah. A most marvelous thing happened in Exodus 14 when you get, you know. The Bible says that God, the Bible says that God removed the angels that were in front of the Israelites and carried them to the back. God Almighty here. When they got to the front, they were stuck because all they saw was the Red Sea. And they're wondering, how am I going to go back to the landmark to come back to Jesus? So they got Pharaoh behind them, but God positioned himself like this. Praise God behind them. I said, God positioned himself behind them. You don't have to worry about your back. God have your back. You don't have to worry about your God have you covered. The Bible says when the angel of God were moved behind the children of Israel because they were crying out, we are going dead no, we are going dead no. And God said, oh no, you're not going dead no. I said, you can be restored tonight. I said, you can be delivered tonight. I said, you can come back tonight to the old landmark. This convention is designed to bring you back. This convention is designed to swallow your enemies. This convention is designed to embarrass whatever is embarrassing you. Tonight you can come back to the all. You can come back to the all. Bishop, God's direction is this way. And the angels were like this, my bishop. And when God see Pharaoh come and say, who, my pity? God just do like this. I said, no. I said, no. I said, no way. And the Bible lets us know that the angel of God that went behind them was confusion for the enemy because they couldn't see the Israelites and God allured them into the sea. Can't you see? Brethren, I say this and I'm going to quit. It's difficult to come back to the landmark. I say it's very easy. But with, with Christ, with God, all things are possible. I say, whether you mess up, whether you find some man yard or some woman yard, whether you decide that you can come back. You can come back. So tonight, when we examine the text, praise God about how God do his thing. He wants you back. In the while you're out there, he wants you back. Yes. He wants you to come back to the old land. Mark, it is time for you to be restored. Finally, as they got Pharaoh into the sea, and when you look at the Bible, it says the waters became walls. Can you imagine you're going between the walls and you're seeing sharks? And you're seeing all type of creatures in the sea. And you're wondering if the walls are going to capsize on you and drown you. No, that is designed for the enemy. It cannot swallow you up. It's God designed. So I'm saying my brothers and I'm saying my sisters. While I descend. Praise God. The ones that were in Jeremiah 16 said, no. No, 
Oh, me now come back. Me now come back. And we may read it and think they're just being rebellious, but sometimes it's what the mind is telling them. You can't come back. But I'm here to tell you, praise God, that you can come back. Come, group, come. So come back tonight. Come on, group. Come back tonight. Find your way to the old landmark. God bless you. Receive our group from the Power Faith Ministries, Grove Road Assembly, Kingston, Jamaica. God bless you. Minister White and Minister Barton sends their love. They cannot be here tonight. God bless you. Thank you so much. to God. Hallelujah. Tonight, I pray that as we minister to you that you will be blessed and that the Lord will be glorified because his grace, God's grace is able to keep us. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Someday it seems like all that I try is in vain. And in spite of my efforts, all I produce is more strength. My doubts and delusions, oh,
Praise God. Put your hands together. After such an exhortation from their pastor, they could not help but minister the way they did. Because their pastor would have set the pace. Thank you, Pastor White and the team from Growhold. Put your hands together for them one more time. And colors are rolling in. And some of the faces look like some persons I preached to some two weeks ago. St. Thomas in the East. Wow, great things are happening. While the St. Thomas Virgin are settling down, let me call one of my son. Praise God. Deacon Davy. He served here as a deacon, did a fine job. He migrated to far west. And he did not throw down the button, you run along with it and serve so well in the church that he presently attend, that he's now assisting the pastor. It means, therefore, that I produce an assistant pastor. Come bring us greetings, sir. I recognize that you want to leave. Hallelujah. 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 Praise God. I am giving God thanks for this privilege. Truly, it is a privilege to be back home. Praise God. This is where I was born. Praise God. Not here, so to speak, but further down. But this is my home. Praise God. And I'm happy to be home. I want to greet our bishop, Bishop Sutton, and the Rastrum Associate, and all those who are leading God's people in the pew. Praise God. I just want to reflect on a song that I love so well. I'm not going to sing. Praise God. But before I reflect on the song, I want to greet my wife, my companion, and my children who are here. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. <laughs> Hallelujah. We are serving, my wife is serving as a missionary in the Lighthouse Deliverance Church of God in Grange Hill, Westmoreland, where our bishop and founder is Alton Spence. Praise God. I don't know if any of you would have known him as one of them viral preacher. Praise the Lord. Praise God. And I'm happy to be serving as his assistant, as our bishop alluded. Praise God. But I want to reflect on this song. Praise God. Sanki declared that when we walk with the Lord. In the light of his word. What a glory he sheds on our way. Let's, let's reflect. While we do his good will. He abides with us still. But. It's for those who. Will trust and obey. God bless you. I taught him well. I told him. Somebody draw your jockey tail. <laughs> Time to cut. Doesn't matter how 
Show up, you think you are good. Love your son. Good work. <laughs> based on the amount of choir that we have to sing and based on the distance that some persons will be going back to. Time is now 9 o'clock. We have to draw some tail and do some things. So if you have the song of two verses, please to do one going forward. And the chorus, if it have three verses, give us two and the chorus going forward. Is that amen? So may I ask, praise God, the Adfield Assembly, our sister church that we preach out from here in, hallelujah, Goshen. Come and sing for us, please. Praise God. Adfield, power of faith, ministry. Quarrel. Put your hands together for them, please. I told them some weeks ago that they are punching above their weight. And I told our next group that they are punching below their weight.
Put your hands together. Hot faith. Power of faith. Ministries. And I must say this about them. They are a very unique bunch. When we are having large supper service, more people turn out than the Sunday morning service. And when we are having large supper service, they do not want to dismiss the service. <laughs> I told them that they are punching above their weight. Continue to do what you're doing. Make your pastor proud. Put your hands together for them, please. Jesus. They finally arrived. A sister church from St. Thomas. You have us worried. We made some inquiry earlier on. <laughs> Praise God, but we are happy that you're here. So I'm going to be calling on Pastor Clement Logan and Minister Joy Logan, pastors of the Power of Faith Ministries in St. Thomas. To bring us greetings and to introduce to us their power. And I told him, as his divisional overseer, I told him, one minute, sir, please. Praise the Lord with you tonight. Give God glory. Call him by his name. He is he who has caused everything that is happening to happen. Without him, nothing could happen. I accept the welcome from the Goshen Assembly tonight. And I want to greet you along with Minister Dodono. Let them see, you know, so St. Thomas people look like. Oh, no. While I take my one minute, I want the Knightsville, PFM Knightsville combined choir are the remnant that is here with me tonight to start making your way because we're, we're working with time. I want to thank Bishop Sutton and Reverend Sutton, host pastors of this ministry, this branch of the PFM, to welcome us to say it best tonight. We know the struggle to get here <laughs> and to get there. But you know what? It's the same distance. <laughs> so we now watch nothing. The, the thing them done? All right. Don't, don't tell them what it is, but we soon set you up. And over there, your thing coming up. So we keep it a secret. We don't want to take too much of time tonight, but just to say God is good and we are delighted to be in this 29th annual convention of the Power of Faith Ministries right here in Goshen, St. Elizabeth. Bishop and team was with us on two Sundays ago in St. Thomas at our seventh annual convention. So we are happy to know that we could come to support our sister church tonight. If it is donkey care tonight, we are coming up. <laughs> we determine it doesn't matter what, we are coming and here we are. To minister to us tonight, the Knightsville Combined Choir, give them a hand as they minister as we move on to the service. In Jesus' name. Running down, I've come too far to 
Put your hands together, Jesus. Brothers and sisters, when we get to heaven, when this lovely choir will be singing non-stop, and so they are just rehearsing now till we get there. Put your hands together for them. Fine singing. Thank you, Reverend Logan, both Logans, and your team. Really has been a blessing to us. Praise God. May I ask us to change your position, please? Two more things that I have to do, and then we change you out of the service and get on the preacher. But may I ask you to just stand with me, please, everybody. Ushers, please, to take up your position, please. Today, our presiding bishop lift a special offering. But there, for those of you who are not here on today, this being our 29th anniversary convention, it would have been good if you can sow a special seed if you were not here today in this convention. So please. Take out the best offering that you can. I will not ask you to ask for any particular figure, but please do, do your very best. Ushers, where they are. Praise God. I want to ask you please to do your very best in giving here tonight. 
And the best way for us to do it, to do, is to do it bench by bench. So I'm going to ask you to come from the back and come to the two corner aisles. And then you proceed to the center aisle back to your seat. Is that amen? Just do it that way, please. Bow your heads. Father, be pleased to bless those who will walk down to give. Some will be given out of their very last. But we ask you, oh God, to bless in return, O oh God. So the little that they will have leave will never go out, O oh God. Bless the gift and the giver now, we pray in Jesus' name. God bless you. You can start coming now. You can have your seats. You can start coming. Hallelujah. Ushers at the back, please to give direction, please. All right, just come. Just come from just come from just come from where you are standing or sitting. And just come leave an offering. Every, everybody, just come then. Just come without starting from the back. Just come from where you are. Come from where you are. Come with your gifts. And whilst you're giving, please to listen to these few announcements, please. A convention continues into Wednesday night. And so we are expecting you to turn up tomorrow night in good numbers. We reserve Bishop Arthur Grand for tomorrow night because there's a Monday night always be the preacher's lonely night. So we preserve him for the lonely night. <laughs> and so Reverend Grant Bishop Grant picks up tomorrow night through to Wednesday night. Is that amen? So we're asking you please to spread the words around and be here. Hallelujah. And great numbers so we can have a great time in the Lord. Is that amen? Sunday of this week, Sunday of next week will be first Sunday where we are going to be dedicating babies. If you know of persons who have babies to dedicate, we're going to ask you please to inform them that come Sunday of next week we are going to dedicate babies right here. And our service for Sunday starts at 10 o'clock. And then our next Sunday night will be uh, Lord's Supper service and that is going to be the last Lord's Supper service for this year so all those of our virgin who would have missed out during the course of this year we are asking you please to see how best you can catch up for Sunday night or last Lord's Supper service and we are looking forward to see you is that amen praise God just to inform you also that come the 4th of January, all roads are going to lead to the National Arena for a very, very special event. Heal the family, heal the nation. And the only group has ever got a bigger crowd in the national arena, other than heal the family, heal the nation, is the politician when they are having their conference. And we are believing God that under God we go beat yes. their crowd. Amen. Am I making any sense? Hallelujah. Because the family needs to be healed. And so we are going to concentrate around heal the family, heal the nation. It's a national call from the power of faith ministries and the other umbrella group of churches in Jamaica. Trust in God that you will be a part of it. Is that amen? amen. Hallelujah. We'll come in to bless us just before the preacher. He's one of the finest choir around town. Just good. Look good. And I know they are going to sing good tonight. So my good, good power of faith ministries, Goshen Choir. Could you stand, please, under the direction of your choir master? Oh, oh, oh the choir master do it. Can I ask, can I do it the way the choir master do it? Sit, sit back, sit. Could, I will let you lead them into singing. But let me, let me try the, the standing up part of it. Is that it, mean?
So, tell me if I'm doing it right, call me Jesus. Take it over, call me Jesus. <laughs>
hands and say remember those days I want to go back I want to go back remain standing please Jesus let me say thanks to you for cooperating with me thus far thanks for your offering given your praises offered we're about to change the order of the service. But just before we do so, I realize that from the evening started, my wife don't come to the fore. So maybe there are those who are viewing, thinking that I'm a loner. So I'm not a loner. I have my fire stick. I'm not a loner. Visitors, I'm not a loner. I have a fine, fine dandy with me. She'll be celebrating her birthday. Hallelujah. And she's coming right in the convention. Love your girl. Sweet and dandy, sweet and dandy. All right, enough of that, enough of that. Let's get down to serious business now. Coming to speak God's mind to us is a man of God, a prophet of God. I watched this young man grow a little church from nothing very fine and outstanding church but here in Manchester old England I bless God for him He's well respected he has a very unique ministry and so when the Bishop Arthur Grant informed me that he's not going to be his able to start the convention with us tonight because something came up in his organization and he have to be a part of it tonight and so he will, he will show up on tomorrow through to Wednesday first person that came to my spirit is prophet Nelson and I know that he's very busy so I took up the phone gave him a call and forthwith, he consented to speak to us tonight. So it is my profound joy and pleasure to turn over this microphone to God-anointed servant, Prophet Kenroy Nelson, senior pastor. 
of the Faith Deliverance Worship Center over there in old England. Put your hands together for him and receive him now in the care of God and the Lord. Come on, give him praise, somebody. Just lift your hands and bless the Lord across this building. Come on, give him praise all over this building tonight. Somebody shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. You're in a convention tonight. Open your mouth and shout a praise across this building. Come on, shout it. Let the devil hear you tonight. Come on, shout it. Let the devil hear you tonight. Shout it until you feel it tonight. Hallelujah. Praise God. Just wave your beautiful hands across this place. God is indeed a wonderful God. We're in a wonderful setting tonight. Praise God. And we know that God is about to do something marvelous in this wonderful convention. Our bishop was here today, and trust me, he preached up a storm, my God. And you know, I, I have to leave church just to come and support my bishop today. Praise the name of the Lord, just to be back tonight. Praise God, you can be seated in his presence, everybody. Hallelujah. God is good, and all the time, it's indeed a privilege for me to be here, not the very first time, and to be speaking for the great man of God tonight, praise the name of the Lord. Clap your hands for him, praise God. Bishop Glenroy Sutton and Reverend Charmin Sutton and the wonderful Power of Faith in Goshen. Praise God. Pastor Tyrone White, clap your hands for him and the saints from Grove Road. Minister Pastor Logan, clap your hands for him and the saints from St. Thomas. To Pastor Brian, my, my Bible, Bible school teacher, praise God. Clap your hands for him. Praise the name of the Lord. To the wonderful choir, to all the ministers that are here tonight, clap your hands for them. Praise the name of the Lord, musicians and everybody. Praise God. Tonight I'm here with my team from Faith Deliverance Worship Temple, my wife and two daughters. And the saints, they are here. I'm going to invite them just to stand. Praise God. Hallelujah. Clap your hands for them, everybody. Amen. And I'm not a loner either, sir. I'm not a loner either. I'm going to invite my wife just to stand. Minister Colleen Nelson, praise the name of the Lord. Come on, clap your hands for her. Amen. Hallelujah. Praise God. She stood with me over the year, the past 16 years in ministry. Hallelujah. And hold up my hands and encourage me. There are times, you know, you feel, as a pastor, you feel. But there are times when you have somebody who can say, go on. Because when you release to others, you need somebody who can say, I am here for you. Clap your beautiful hands for Jesus, everybody. So I'm delighted to be here. Bishop Sutton, really appreciate you. I always have Bishop Sutton to preach at my, at my convention. Four years straight. I like, to, I like when this man of God preach. I know he's a man of God, a wonderful man of God, and leading a wonderful congregation here in Goshen and in Hartsfield. Praise the name of the Lord. Amen. So I only have 25 to 30 minutes with you. Praise God. At 10 o'clock because we know some are going back to St. Thomas tonight. Amen. But we are still on the team. It's restoration time. Getting back to the old landmark. Praise God. And I want you to turn your Bibles, hallelujah, to Jeremiah 6. And the 16th verse. 16th verse. This is okay. It says, Thus said the Lord, Stand ye, in the ways and see and ask for the old path. Where is the good way? And walk therein. And he shall find rest for your soul. But they said, we will not walk therein. Father, your word is blessed. Thank you for touching your servant. Bless the heart of your people tonight, God, in this convention. That no one will leave the same divine God. Holy Spirit, may you minister to them in a special way like never before. In Jesus' mighty name, give him praise, somebody. It's restoration time. Back to the old landmark. Praise the name of the Lord. And we are here tonight and we know in the setting and the body of Christ, we have seen what is happening in today's church moving forward. It's not like before. 
It has been diluted. Many things have been removed from the old landmark. And tonight, we want to implore you that that's a place we need to get back. The old landmark. Too much watering down. Too much compromising. We have churches all over the places now, sticking there, sticking there, here and there. And we know that the church now become a microwave thing. Quick fix. And everybody wants to be in the spotlight and everybody wants to get something that can move forward. But God is simply saying, back to the old landmark. Back to holiness. Back to righteousness. God wants the church to be at a place where it started out before. Now understand the Bible says, God called forth the prophet of God, Jeremiah. He said, before I formed you, I knew you. Understand, he's the only born prophet. Not a call prophet. He was born a prophet to the nation. Katushai. God shows this man understand because God is sending a message, a serious message to the church, to the Israelite, to his people, to the chosen. God of the single altar man that God says, you will not even marry. I'm setting you apart to set the church ablaze. Because my people, you know that God loves his people. God loves his church. God will kill for the Israelite. There are times when they come out of line. God will allow them to fall in the hands of the enemy. But the one thing God is looking for is for them to turn back to him. Turn back to the old landmark. To do that which he has commissioned them to do. To do. To do. To do. I've called you for such a time like this. Set you, and I'm sending you out to pull down, tear down, root up, pluck up. And then I want you to build, then plant. Because my people have gone astray. They have moved out of bone. They have strayed. They have gone they have rebelled. The people have turned from me. Jeremiah wants you to go and warn them. Get them back in line. Koshaba. I want my church, I want my people to get back in line. Understand Israel, the church is a type of Israel. We are the church and we are getting out of bone. And God is saying, I want this new age to get back to the landmark where it has been started. Look at what happened in the day of Pentecost. Nothing like that is happening anymore. Church is now in a setting where everybody is doing their stuff. Because it has lost its savior, lost its favor, lost the taste, lost everything about it. There's nothing more in the church. God cannot step in the church and find holiness anymore. God cannot step in the church and that which he has commissioned in the church anymore. Everything has now diluted. People do as they choose to do. People walk the way they want to walk. But God is saying this is the time. This is the moment. Come back in line. Come back in line. I need you. Go for it. Tell them. Jeremiah said, I can't speak. He said, who made you? I called you. And I put my words in your mouth. So you speak it. And that's one time when he decided, I'm giving up. I'm not going to preach anymore. God says, I created you. I can stir it up. I can turn it up back in you. Slap your neighbor and say, get back in line, get back in line. Get back in line. God wants the church to be separated and touch not the unclean things. Because God wants to pour out. You know what God, you know what is happening in the church today? Why the power of God cannot move? Because the church has lost its power. 
lost its direction. Disobedient. Nothing more again. We're out of bound. So the ancient landmark is the standard, it's a pattern, and the way the people, the prophets, uh, and the apostles of old live by and follow in the day-to-day -day activities based on the commandment of God. It's gone. No more. You can walk in a church and feel the present no more. There's a lot of church, I'm telling you, people of God, I tell God, if you're going to allow me to preach, you're going to give me a church of holiness. I'm not compromising. I heard Bishop preach it today. You don't pay anybody because of big tides and because of that. And you can't preach this because if you preach it, sister, I go begs, brother, I go begs because of this. Holiness are holiness. People have to get it right. Get it right. Slap your name and say, get it right. I always tell my congregation, ask them. I said, there's a hey, prophet, why are you so strict? I said, learn from Bishop Davis. Why do you think the bishop have a massive church and can lead? A lot of people say the bishop is too strict. Yes, I want him to be strict. I watched him for the past 16 years. I tell you, I have a bishop way over me. He's the first man to put a mic in my hand. I have to respect him. Yes, I still have a spiritual father, but he's my main mentor in Jamaica. Koshandai. Night and day. Lead a congregation. Strict, they can tell you. I don't play. The day you play your church, go on down. And let me tell you something, people don't understand God. God, God is in a firing mood. Don't oh, get if you think God can fire you. He called him fire you. Let me tell you this. God told me one day, He said, if you mess with my ministry, God show me a madman, He will replace you. Shando Bosai. Look at the name and say, get it right, get it right, get it right, get it right. Get it right, get it right. Uh, if you want to see restoration in your life, uh, you got to get back to the olden days. Uh, you got to get back what God says. Uh, be he holy because I am holy. You got to walk in the right path. Know that you are the apple of God's eye. You are chosen. You are royal. You are separated. You can't mix up. You can't mix the thing. 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 You can't mix it. Look at the name and say, you can't mix it. God says, I will restore to you the years. Listen to me. One of the hardest things to restore is time. God says, I am the person who can do that. The years, the months, the days, the weeks, the hour, the second, minute, I can restore it. But hear me, the only way I'm going to restore it, you got to get back to basic, get back to the real thing, get back to the foundation, get back to the real pattern. We have set it, set it, set it. Yes. Flow with it. Shandoria Baha'i. Let me tell you this, people of God, as I hear the man of God preach today, you see, as individuals, you got to put yourself in a position to know God and learn when you come to church, you make sure you stick to the word. People going to church today, they don't want the word anymore. All they want is a quick prophecy over their life. Laying on of hands, it don't work like that. The Bible said the word of God is quick and powerful. It is sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing. Come on, slap your neighbor and say, you need the word. What you need is the word. You don't need a prophecy. Oh, shut up, oh, yeah. The greatest prophecy is when the word being preached. That's the prophecy that you need. I've got to have church Sunday, Monday, Tuesday night, online Bible study, Wednesday, Friday prophetic, and all life force fights for the word to be preached. People need the word. It is the word that will cut and cleanse it, the word that will direct you in the right path. 
Shabra Kabadia. Old landmark. Look at your name and say, get back to the old landmark. Some of us lost it. Some of us lost our prayer life. Some of us altar has been torn down, torn down. There's no more fire at the altar. When last have you been to your altar? When last you lament at your altar and lament and pray to God, change and transform my family, transform my friends, transform my business, transform my life. There's no more fire at the altar. No more fire. It's gone. Not even church. Some of us don't want to come anymore. Bible study. Prayer meeting. Call her all night fasting. Nobody no want to come. Look at the name and say, get it right, get it right, get it right. Get it right, get it right. God send Jeremiah to warn them. Tell them. They say, we don't want it. We don't need it. Me not going. I don't want no old way. I am comfortable with the new way. Comfortable with the new covenant. I'm comfortable with the way I'm behaving. I'm good like that. God says not that way. You're feeling pleasing to yourself, but not to me. Not to me. Not to me. Shambo Sikra Bahai. Not to me. Not to me. Get it right, man. Fix it. The old landmark. You know, Bishop, I haven't seen that in the old song singing in church again. Let me tell you this, people of God. The church reaches somewhere. Let me tell you, I get saved on Friday night at the dance hall. So, so let me, I have no problem with reggae, reggae gospel, you know. But it can't turn me. It can't push me. Because every time I hear it, I remember in the dance hall. But give me some good Holy Ghost music. Oh, Shaka, something that I can worship God from my soul. David, speak to his soul. Oh, Shataya, you have to have something that can encourage your soul. Slap your name and say you have to have something to encourage your soul, man. Encourage your soul, encourage your soul. Slap your name and say, encourage your soul. The old landmark, yes, the old landmark. Oh, come on, you, you got you, you to die, you, come on. You got to move out of it now and get into that which God require. Requirement is needed. Needed. It's needed, man of God. You know, People need help. I keep a fasting every Monday and Wednesday. I see people come. People come and say, boy, prophet, you know, I went to a certain church and the man of God said, I have to give him $50,000 to do this. And I said, for what? I said, haven't you read your Bible? In Matthew 10, the Bible says, go preach the word, lay hand on the sick, cast out devils, freely you receive, freely you give. The gospel cannot sell. Slap your name and say, wake up, wake up, wake up. Oh, good God, that's when you don't know God. You will let people fool you. Shako Sipra Handai. Wake up. Pay for what? God tell me the day, the day you open your hand and mouth and say, you child, anybody, I kill you right before the public. That's 12 years ago. Ask my wife sometimes when I lay hands on hundreds of people. When I go home, I'm tired. I say, honey, don't worry yourself. God will reward me. People of God, hear me. You're at a time right now. You don't look on this earthly life. You're like your citizens of heaven. You're just an ambassador here. You are just a farm worker. Get ready, you're going back to your home. When your time done as a farm worker, you're going back. And that's heaven, heaven, heaven. Contract man of God. You know a contract worker, you think it's permanent. Shabrikia. Go back home. Straight back home. The time can't finish your six months, can't finish your nine months, can't finish at any given time. But the question is, what will you stand before God and tell him that you did for the kingdom? 
He said, my reward is with me to pay every man according to his work shall be. You got to learn, people of God, have a prior life. And many of you don't know God for yourself. The man of God is here to teach you, but you got to build a relationship with him. That when the man of God falls asleep and you're calling him and you can't get him, you know what to do because you have a relationship. Why, Bishop, now answer me calling now what happened? Bishop asleep, Bishop teach you the word. It's for you to get the word in your system and use the word when the appropriate time comes to use it. There's going to be a time where you walk alone, people of God. Shakrebo. Mandio Sai. It's coming. Get it right. Fix it. This is what happened when, when, when Joseph went down to Egypt and leading and feeding them until that Pharaoh dies. The man of God says, a new Pharaoh rise up. Rise up against the church. And you see what is happening right now across the world. You think pandemic is just like that? A new Pharaoh rise up. Open your eyes. Look what happened. For three years the church shut down. It wasn't like this. But thank God you know what the church can restore today. It's not because the church can restore. Because people who, who get back to the old landmark get back in prayer and fasting. Get back in the word. I have never seen so much people call for Bible study. Want to go to church in pandemic. But where were they first? But God can do anything. He can perform miracles. He can let things happen out of the bad things. And that proves to the church and test the church. To see who are steady, planted, connected. When the prime minister called, uh, uh, three weeks, no church. I do three weeks on Zoom. I'm not time for waste. The people need food. You have to edify them. You know how much pastors backslide in pandemic. People of God, when pastors, I worry about this, I worry about that. Ask, ask my congregation. I am building in pandemic. Building. One building take one month, one take five weeks. Ask them. And helping six other pastors build their ministry. Why? It's not what man says, what God says. People of God, we are not in, we are in this world, but we are not a part of it. So it's not what the, what is hitting the world is not for the church. You got to understand that it's going to get worse. Joseph didn't know it was going to get worse. Fear of die, another one rise up. Four hundred years in bondage, bitter bondage. Kill all the can onion and all them stuff them have to feed on. Bondage. That's what the devil wants to do. Put the church in bondage. But God is telling you, get back to the old landmark. Fire up. Paroshki Brahadia. Fire up. Jesus, I only have three minutes left. Marco Shabrahadia. Get back to it. They cried in bondage. But God always have a way out. God sent Jeremiah to warn them. Warn the church. Talk to the church. Encourage the church. They don't want it because the mindset, the mentality that they have. We don't need God. We're not going. We're not going. We're not doing it. We're stuck here. We're comfortably here. Find back the old landmark, the new way, the old way you need to move in it. Reestablish it. Affirm it. That's what God is looking for. Looking for. And when you are going to get back to the old landmark, you got to be committed. You got to be dedicated. 
You have to make sure you are connected. You have to make sure that so you get it right, that your heart have to be right. Look at your name and say, get it right, your heart have to be right. Do you know that God call all of us every time a person gets saved, you have been employed by God. God don't call no man and they're still unemployed. What well, you think Matthew 6 tell you Matthew 6 33? Seek ye first the kingdom of God. And his righteousness. And he says, all other things will be added, added, added. Which means anytime you come to me, the kingdom you have it. Thy kingdom come where is the kingdom? Inside of you. The kingdom is inside of every believer. And that's why I love, I love, I love the Apostle Paul. And he says in Galatians 2.20, he said, I was crucified with Christ, yet I live, not I, but the Christ that lives inside of me. I'm not living anymore. Christ is now living inside of me. And if Christ is living inside of me, then holiness must inside of me. Righteousness must inside of me. Love must inside of me. Forgiveness must inside of me. Determination must be inside of me. Encouragement must be inside of me. Power must be inside of me. It is all compact in you as a believer. Sharon dia, ke jadabo secretia high. Compact inside of you. I'm going to walk around and I always encourage my, my members. I say, listen, man. No, 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 no. Poor here. Say, so, you know, have it. You have the grace. Work it. Establish it. Go for it. Win souls. That's a mission. Encourage somebody. Tell them. Pull them to Christ. That's your mission. Hear me. I tell God if, if I'm going to waste time in the ministry, you know, I do crap. Might as well take me home. You know? Because the heaven is better than this. So why waste time here when God called you to do a great job? Work it. Look at your name and say, work it. Get back to the old and mark. Work your altar. Look one hour prior way up. You can't work again. God wants you to intercede on the behalf of others. God put me on a 100 day intercessory prior. 24 hours a day for 100 days. I'm just on the 69 day. Sacrifice must be made. Yes. Not fasting and praying for myself or my wife and children. No. For the nation. For the church leaders. My bishop, my bishop. I have to pray, pray for all of them. All the poor faith family. They probably don't know something on my family, you know. <laughs> Maybe an outside one, but you don't worry. Bishop Davis and Minister Davis, they know it. They know it. I watch them. And that's how I establish my ministry and grow it. I watch how they run the ministry. Yes. Back to the old landmark. Look at your name and say, get it back. I'm closing. Shando Cobra Habia. Jeremiah said, and he says, Thus said the Lord, stand ye in the ways, 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 plural. In the ways. Kosha mm. Prakidia Mandia. And see and ask for the old path where to, to, to the good way and walk there in other oh, God wanting to do, you know. Ask for it, find it and walk in it. Nothing no hard, not that. Walk in it. Plant yourself in it. It's what God wants. It's what he needs for the church. Too much church going around plain. I'm not saying that church don't need money. Every church needs money. But the way some of us go about doing it. Hustling. Hustling. Gospel sales rep. Scamming people. Let me tell you this, man. I learned this 
Let the anointing do the job, man. Let the anointing do the job. Let me tell you something, man. I'm closing. We all need money. We crave for money. But church, church, church people don't need to run after money. What you need? Money. Money by products. But money is also a product. What by money? Something called favor. When you have favor, money has to come to you. God, the Bible tells you in Luke 2, 52, and Jesus, grow in stature and wisdom and find favor with man and with God. Favor. So if you find favor with God and man, that's it. Shebo sakri bahandai. Church is going to build. But we got to get back to the part. God want to bless many of us. But we got to get back to the landmark. The old landmark. God want to give some of us fresh anointing. But we got to get back to the old landmark. God want to raise the bar in the ministries. But we got to get back to the old landmark. Nothing hard than that. He watches over his word to perform it. And as Bishop preached today. Some of us act like we're big. You're not bigger than Genesis 1, Revelation 22. You're not. Oh, Shakri Bahondiai. The world is much more greater than you. Bigger than you. Bigger than you. That's all you need. Stick in the word. Hear me, people of God, as I close. If there's anything you're going to run down, run down the word of God. Are you hearing me? Don't be too desperate for a word. I'm not saying prophecy is not good. I prophesy. I deliver. I do deliverance to the highest dimension. But why you deliver somebody and they don't have the word? They can come back possess again. You need something that can keep you. It's a word that do the maintenance job. You have the word inside of you. Why you think Jeremiah try to turn and try to quit and he can't quit because the word bubbling inside of him burning like fire. Burn like fire. It's all you need. As a church, let the church be the church. Get back to that old landmark. Let fire begin to burn in the church. Good God Almighty. When last we see people walk in church and preaching can't take place, the Holy Ghost take over. And all you hear is Lebra Katakaya. People being filled with the Holy Ghost. The angel walking. God get angry and the prayers. Can't happen again. Because the new landmark take over. God can't dwell in the temple again. Like Solomon time. Not even the priest could step in when the glory of God filled the house. Oh, Rabbi. Church need it. The church need it. We have to get back there. And pastors and leaders have to get it right. Teach the church the right thing. When I hear the, the man of God says today, an apostolic young lady goes said, Man of God, I have to sow this seed you know, in your ministry because guess what happened? You teach us the right thing. So what are what your pastor doing? Walking and cursing, which name to baptize her, or, 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 or which, which day to worship. It don't work that way, man. You just need Jesus Christ and Him crucified just to know Him, have Him, and make sure you worship Him in spirit and in truth. Do not follow the hypocrisy. If you don't do this, you're not going to heaven. Where did you get that? You got to know the word. The word. That's why we are so ignorant. And we slaughter each other. Shako Saki Bahaya. Oh, Shandi Dibiosaya Bakoto Ribi. Tell my members, I don't want you to go nowhere. You're going to argue with nobody, you know? But who fit to this or who fit to that? A person who stick to the word and know the word. You don't argue. The word is wisdom, man of God. Wisdom. 
And the Bible tells us that wisdom is a weapon. And a police having his gun, he got to know when to draw it. Shibo. When to draw it. The word allow you to become mature in Christ. Mature in your walk. You have the word of God. Love. You know how to love. You know how to find joy. You know how to have faith in God. You know when you reach your wit and you're not giving up because you have the word to keep you. Rule about the curtain of memories where God has brought you from. Be careful of some sambal at Tobiah. Look at the name and say, keep building, keep building. If some of you stick with the old landmark, you don't worry what people want to say. You build. I'm not coming down. I'm doing a good work. Can't come down. Look at the name and say, don't come down. Don't come down. Stay up there and build. Let Gersham, Sambal, and Tobiah. Even when them send letter, tell them I don't need your letter. I already have the word of God. I have the word of God inside of me. I'm closing. My time is up. The word of God. The word of God. This is what's going to keep me. Back to the old landmark. Spend time in the word. Spend time uniting with each other. Spend time fellowship with your brother and sister. Encourage them. Don't kill them. Got to name and say, encourage them. But they make mistakes, you know. But they need somebody. What the Bible tells in Galatians 1, 6 verse 1. Any money overtaken in a fault. Listen, listen to me. As spiritual people, what about you know? You who are spiritual. You know, hear me. When you, when you get back to the old landmark and you know Christ, you grow spiritual in spirituality. So you know how to handle things and deal with people. Restore such a one, and I like the last part of it. Else you also will be tempted. We see everybody deeds in a man. We know how When God, God simply wants you to set a standard, called you. You, are, you it's me. God called you to direct, you know. You know that every single person who called by God is called to encourage at least a thousand people. You carry a thousand soul on the inside of your spirit. When you come to Christ, you know, you are no longer the same. That's why it, and a body, soul, and spirit, you know. It's spirit, soul, and body. Man is a spirit. Have a soul and live in a body. Your spirit, it's real you. Which means Christ lives inside of you. Compact with the fruit of the Spirit. Compact with the fruit of the Spirit. We edify each other, lift up each other, build each other, encourage each other, help each other cross over, and help each other tear down the new landmark because this is what's killing us, watering down the thing. I hate walking to church when I can't hear none of them all sang. I want to walk in church and hear, this is my story. Because this is my song. God, I'm praising my Savior all the day long. Because this is my story. This is my song. Able shy. Lord, I'm saying him my Savior. Oh, the Taylor. I'm closing. God, I'm giving up the mic now. You now walk in church and hear them say, Grace, Grace, God, Grace, Grace that 
Come on, choir. We'll pardon and cleanse within Christ Christ. Sing God's grace. Grace that that is greater than all my sins. We not hear it in that church anymore. Not walking in the church and hear the secular music play. The God we serve is holy. He called us for such a time like this to be holy. Produce the things that are holy. Shabahonde ku shabrahadiyat. God needs his praise. We come again lift and sing hallelujah. Thine the glory. Tell him hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Revivers. Lift your voice. We're closing. Sing it. Hallelujah. Echo Shire. Thine the glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Thine the glory. Closing. This is what God is looking for. We When he can step in, so these are my people. And angels lift wings and begin to worship. not about self glory but God must get his glory he share with no man hey Abba Shalabo Sakri Bahandai Mendo Shiba Haba Hubahai hey Bo Shaya I'm about to close if you're here tonight he said God I need to get back to that old landmark you can come to the altar and sing while you come. I need the old. I, I need, need the Shakabaya. Every, every hour. hour. There's restoration at the altar. If you are believers, run to the altar. Run to the altar. Kataya. Shekobosai. Walk down. God is doing something here. Tell him, tell him. I need a close fire. Hallelujah. Raise your voice. Tell him, I need you. I need. Tell him, tell him, tell him. If you're here and you're not saved, come to the altar. Shark, close fire. Every Shanda, close fire. Raise your voice, cut the bush. Oh, bless. bless me. Be now my Tell him, Moshaya. I cry. Get to the Raise it, raise it, raise it. Raise it. I need a bush. I need a I need to pray for some of you. Come to the altar. What go to the altar? I want to pray for you tonight. Shako Bahaya. Keba Bobosaya. Tell him, tell him, tell him. 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 Tell him, tell him,
tell him, tell him. Tell him. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Raise your voice and tell him. I Yes, God, yes, 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 yes. Come on, come on. Oh, come I come to thee. One more time. Tell him, tell him, tell him. I come, God. I come to thee. One more time. Shake the devil off. You're coming back to the Olama. I need. need it's prayer time. Prayer time. Yes, 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 yes. yes. Restoration time. The joy is coming back. The peace is coming back. The anointing, the glory of God is coming back in your life. Oh, Shabbat, over higher. Oh, tell him, tell him. Come on, pastors, pray for them. Yes, Kato Shire. Yes, yes, yes. Shadabai. To the God. Rakotaya Mahundebaya. Tell him. I need. It's restoration time. Across this building. Oh, Shama. Mahose Kedebo. Lebebe. Yes, God, yes, 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 God is restoring people tonight. I need right here at this altar. Something is happening in this room. Marco Something is happening right here. If you are sick across this building, there's healing. Whatever is blocking your family, it's going to break in right now tonight. Makosha, Labondi vi kadai, Libra na God deve, Koski brandi akoto. I'm about to pray for you tonight. Bow your heads, everybody. I'm handing by this mic. Father, we thank you, God. These are your people tonight. We thank you for your grace and your anointing. Thank you for the zeal, the power, and the anointing, God. Thank you for touching these, your people tonight. As they come out in this convention, God. Thank you for breaking every barrier, God. Placing them back to the old landmark. That which you required of your people, God. I ask you, divine God, that your hands will rest upon them mightily. Let the fire burn us at the day of Pentecost, God. And we pray, divine God Almighty, that you'll see a difference with the era of your kingdom in the churches right now. Touch your believers tonight. Give them fresh grace, fresh zeal, fresh passion, God. And I pray, God Almighty, that you'll rest upon them the assurance, God, that things will never be the same from tonight. Upon their light, I place everyone in your hand tonight, God. Double anointing upon them. Let your power, let your power lift them up, God. 
Di banaman di aso Di bras kida boho Kalus yalimahay Selemanda Riba ku seven de leda ba Talanandwe Kudaya kuve de vina ha Pala de konte Juila pu jivina Ibalana kwa talavi katea Kushkeba Riba nandwe kuya ka Le mahu jive Kuskele Rondi di biyo shakra ha Sondi di biya kosaya I place them in your hand God Strengthen them, touch them May you blaze a trail in this convention God Strengthen your man servant Bishop and Reverend Son Like never before And touch your man servant who will take over this week Reverend uh, Arthur Grant God Have your way Bless this congregation one more time As I tell you thanks In Jesus mighty name Bless God Let the power fall on me Right let the power fall on me. Let the power from heaven fall on me. Let the power fall on me. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, let the power fall on me. My Lord, oh, let the power fall on me. Let the power. you thank you musician we could go on all night with this kind of anointing but we are allowing wisdom to prevail a little please listen to me for one minute please God is saying something in this hour God is not well pleased with us leaving the whole landmark anybody ever had disobedient children you taught them right but for some unknown reason they drift and they start to keep company with some kind of people and start to behave some kind of way we are saying come on that's not how I teach you come back come back God is saying the very same thing to his church you see this and, 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 and close I got the first part of the team months before the convention. I said, I'm going to trust God to use this team. It's restoration time. And I've been praying and seeking God because I told my wife, there's something else that needs to add to this. Trusting and seeking God for the second part. And it was only when I was in an aircraft going to New York. Some months ago in the aircraft. I got the section that says back to the whole landmark. I could not call my wife from the aircraft. But as soon as I called her and told her that I reached okay. So guess what? The team for the convention is going to be. It's restoration time. Back to the whole landmark. God gave it to me in an aircraft. Back to the whole landmark. God is saying something, church. This is the final thing I want to say now. If we are going to go back to the whole landmark or get back to the whole landmark, 
it's going to take some effort on our part. It's going to take some effort on our part. It means that there are some things that we have to turn our backs and know. Listen to church of God. Anything that you love, you will not give it up. You have to become sick and tired and hate where you are. Hate it so much that you see I'm not staying here. I'm going back to the whole landmark. Beg of you, don't let this convention team and with this kind of preaching leave you in the same place. You gotta move. It's gonna take some effort on your part. And I'm gonna see how, how committed and dedicated you are to get back to the whole landmark. Because guess what? Tomorrow night, everybody say tomorrow night. Bishop Nelson and his big team is not going to be here. Grove Road is not going to be here. St. Thomas is not going to be here. And we are going to see how much power of faith ministries, Goshen, really want to go back to the whole landmark. Oh God, Jesus, don't miss out on none of these nights. They said that Monday night always be the preacher's lonely night. Don't make it be the preacher's lonely night. Demonstrate. Demonstrate to the devil. Demonstrate. Wall up some black card and say, not staying. Not staying. I go protest and not staying. People don't protest when everything is going well for them. Somebody talk to me, no man. It's when they become displeased, disenchanted against certain things. They, 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 they protest. We need justice. We must tell the devil we need justice. We never born in a what we in a now. We were born in something better. We're going back to the old land. God Almighty. I'm looking forward to see your things must shift. And so I say that to say to my brethren, please, be here on tomorrow night. And all our visitors, show up tomorrow night. Because based on what the Lord told me, if we really, really want to get back to the whole landmark, sufficient word, sufficient power will be in the house during these nights of convention to pull you there. If you want to go there, but you can say like men in Jeremiah's time, me not going, me not going. In the name of Jesus, we're going to the whole landmark. Lift your hand and say, we're going to the whole landmark. We gotta get there. Church must be church again. Church has become a social club, social gathering. Church must be church again. When things happen in a man come a window of a peeping. Say, Jesus have mercy. When man a pass on the roadside after detour and come a church and stay at the window until something knock him at the window and him come sit down. And not two persons cannot do it. Don't care how, how efficient and proficient the pastor be cannot do it. Need a group of people. Somebody talk to me, no man. We need some sort. No, no, no general alone can win war. Got to understand. I don't have some foot soldier. United States Army General. I don't care who they are, where they're chained. They cannot win war by themselves. They need manpower. I need some real manpower behind me. Things must change. Somebody talk to me in the house. Things must change. I'm looking forward to see you tomorrow night, the other night, and the other night. I don't know how I'm going to close this out. Stand with me, please. But just to say thanks a million.
for being here. Thanks a million for showing up. Hallelujah. Give God thanks for you. Thanks for your support today and tonight. Let's keep up this good support on tomorrow and Tuesday and Wednesday night. What a wonderful preaching from, our, from God's servant tonight. And we have, we have a policy in power of faith, Goshen, and many, maybe a pastor, Nelson, has it too. that's why he called me for four conventions straight. We have a policy in power of faith ministries, Goshen, is that when it's nice, we have to do it more than one time. So Bishop Nelson, Prophet Nelson has an hope on invitation. And you are going to see him and see him and see him and see him going forward. Both here in Goshen and in Hatfield. Looking forward for the awesome fellowship going forward. Lift your hands. Father, we thank you for a well spent night from today until now. We thank you. Thank you for what is happening and what is yet going to happen tomorrow and beyond. We give you praise. Dismiss us now with your choice blessings and take us home safe. Those will be going to St. Thomas Kingston. Oh God, Manchester. Oh God, all over. Oh God, West Milan, all over. Yes. Cover, 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 cover. Jesus' name. Why, what a word here tonight. The preacher man, you must be desperate for a word. Some things that we are desperate for. Those things are nothing. But when we're desperate for a word. God bless you. The ministers will be refreshed in my office. And all the uh, visitors from uh, branch churches and Prophet Nelson members, you will be refreshed.